Hi everybody, I'm Savannah, Cindy's granddaughter from Cindy's Place, and today we're going to be showing you how to make um, butcher paper plant planting pots. For starters, today we're going to be planting some aloe vera, and we're going to show you the separation. We have two giant aloe vera, and there's tons of babies, so we're going to show you how to make them. So, you start by picking the size of your pot. You, whatever size you want, whatever shape you want, you got to find an object that's the same size that you want. So we're using this mason jar today. So you take your paper, I have pre-cut rolls, and you got to measure it out so that when you lay it down, that there's extra on the bottom and the paper fully wraps around your item. It doesn't have to be round, it can be square. We did some big square ones earlier. So you just wrap it around, roll it up, and then with the square ones, you act like you're wrapping a present, like a Christmas present at Christmas time. Once it's all wrapped around, you take a small piece of scotch tape. and you gotta seal the seam together. It may not seem very sturdy now, but we're gonna add a staple to it later. Then you flip it up, flip your item upside down, and you're gonna just fold in the top of the paper. And then once it's folded in, you flip it back upside down and use your item to press down the paper. And then you, get, you take a piece of um, packing tape, a good sized piece of packing tape, and then you flip it back upside down. You have to squish it so that kind of creases it on the bottom so it'll stay together better. Then you take your packing tape and just put a strip over the top of it. So it's all sealed. And then next, you pull your item out and there's your pot. But if you look, the inside flap is folding in. And if you put dirt in that and it crunches it down, your pot's gonna fall apart. So you just take a single staple. Just do one staple so that the flap stays to the inside. So the circular pot is done, but if you were to do a square pot, you'd want to fold down the edges, fold down the edges and staple at the seam so that the seam stayed together. And then you can pot up your plants and they look very nice. Now we're going to show you the separation of the aloe vera. Okay, so here's the aloe vera. It is giant. We already wrestled it out of the pot because we have two. We already did the first one and we discovered it's hard to wrestle out of the pot. <laughs> so it's already here. And so you start by you just want to gently massage away the dirt. Oh, and I forgot to tell you what we're doing. We're separating the mama plant from the babies. Oh, and we're gonna sell them because um, we totaled out at, I think around like 24, 25 babies when we counted earlier. And then we already showed you how to make the pots and now we're gonna separate them and pot them up. And I'm just going to keep massaging and see you when we're done. Okay, so in the process of removing the dirt, we found that this baby was pretty much ready to come off, so we thought we'd show you. What we do was we dug, took our fingers and dug out the dirt as far as we can go down. See, it still goes down more. It went down forever. We saw it when it was like about this. 
and it just keeps on going. So what we're going to do is going to dig it out a little bit more. And then we're going to take a knife. Watch out. My hand's going to hit the camera. And then we're just going to go right down next to the baby and try and pry it out. You got to be gentle so you're not hurting the mama plant or breaking any roots. It looks like you can see a little speck of green like another one's coming. Do I just cut it? And then you can see it just keeps on going down. You can kind of see on this side, it keeps on going in the right light. So we're just going to cut it, aren't we? Because we can't find the base. There we go. And then it's free. And then cut. Okay, so now we cut the baby loose. Now we're going to pot it up. We have some already damp, already fertilized soil. And we're going to put it into our butcher paper pot. And because they're so small and they don't have any roots yet, we're going to fill it most of the way. Okay. And then once it's about that, I'm going to put the baby in. Just like that. And then I'm going to fill it in with dirt. And you want to make sure there's an avocado seed. Hey, it sprouted. It's got roots. <laughs> hey, one did sprout. You want to keep it? Oh, and a bonus. Wait. Oh, I thought that was another one. <laughs> I thought you said you cleaned all the seeds out. <laughs> This was a tray of seeds, but nothing came up, so we pulled most of the seeds out, and we're using it for this. See, there's another seed. There. And it looks a little crooked, but it's just because of the base. And then, that's how we pot up our little aloe vera. Hi guys, in this week's video, we were repotting, we were separating little aloe vera babies and potting them up, and in the process, we found a rooted avocado seed. Because in this tray, we were trying to grow, like, I think there were like avocado seeds, I think there were apple seeds at one point, cherry seeds, and none of them sprouted, so we cleaned it out. We're using this dirt for this week's video, and... So I get to pot it, and Cindy says I can take it home. So I'm going to have a little avocado tree. So I have this pot brought with me. I'm just going to pot it up. Fill it about halfway. And I've heard it has to be, the seed has to be completely covered, according to Cindy. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm listening to her. <laughs> so we're going to put it in. Is that good? Or deeper. Good? Okay. So then we're just gonna stick it in. Then we're gonna fill the rest with dirt. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> And cover the top of it, right? Okay. And there you have it. 
I'm going to take it home and hopefully it'll grow. We'll have you an update soon. Okay guys, thank you all for watching. This, these are all, this is everything we did today. It was a lot. I think we had like 24 total little babies. These are, the reason why we put them in the paper pots, butcher paper pots, is because they're going to be sold for our, for our spring plant sales. And then here's my little avocado. I'm going to take it home. And then Cindy let me take home this large aloe vera. And it was a lot of work, but it's worth it for the profits we're going to make. So thank you all for watching. Bye.